Hey guys, welcome back. Does Japanese beer belong in a beer? Does ja <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Does Japanese dessert belong in beer? We're gonna find out. So today we're looking at the Parish and Great Notion collaboration, Blueberry Mochi. We've had a Great uh, Notion beer before with Mochi, or was that, what was that? It was just a milkshake IPA that was called, like, was it Passion Fruit Mochi? I think it was a Passion Fruit Mochi. I don't know, I'll link it in the cards up there. We can check that out. But this is, but that was a milkshake IPA. This is a Berliner style ale, so totally different. Okay. Yeah, we're having a conversation about Berliner Weisses and how you pronounce it because the city is Berlin. Yeah. And you say Berliner Weiss or Berliner Weiss? I guess you could go either way. I think it's Berliner though. I think it's Berliner Pretty too. Pretty sure. Let's hope I haven't been pronouncing it wrong the whole time. The, my whole life. Wow, it's very purple. Very. And it's fizzy. You can hear it. It sounds like, like a Rice Krispies, a Snap Crackle Pop. <laughs> The part of this complete breakfast that goes. <laughs> Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Have you heard how good they are? Well, they use a ton of blueberry puree in this. Yeah, I smell it already through, like, just sitting here. So I'm curious to know what this is going to taste like compared to the Great Notion blueberry muffin. Oh, it's oh, pretty oh. much like the blueberry muffin is a sour style ale, but it's the same concept essentially. It's milk sugar. It's I think there's some vanilla in it, blueberry. Um, so I just the only difference that this has is that it's brewed with toasted rice. It's kind of like more traditional Japanese mochi. Like Japanese, yeah, Japanese like beer is a lot of it's brewed with rice. Okay, cool. Yeah, it says uh, Berliner style ale with uh, blueberries, vanilla, milk sugar, and toasted rice. Brewed and canned by Parrish in Broussard, Louisiana. Please recycle. 16 ounce can. Uh, Parrish and Great Notion. So very cool there. It's got a little, uh, these all these cute blueberries, upside down Japanese looking blueberries. Looks like some sort of anime blueberries. Very cool. Uh, fits the can art very well. Like I said in the previous review, I don't have that much experience with actual mochi. So not sure Delicious. exactly what I'm looking for in this beer. Um, we've had plenty of Berliner vices, but I, you know, having, having this particular additive uh, adjunct in a beer is bizarre. Smells tart, very tart. Very tart. Very blueberry y. Um, yeah, there's just a ton of like blueberry tartness happening in there. It's that, really, it's that acidity and that tartness that define kind of the style. I think because of that blueberry, we're gonna get a little bit more tartness than, than anything else. Although blueberry is one of those be uh, those fruits that's naturally, even though it's a berry, it's, it's not sweet very, too. yeah, it's not very tart. It's, it's actually, it can be sweet depending on how ripe it is. Well, the funny thing is when I buy blueberries and eat them, some of them will be really sour and tart and then the others will be really sweet. Yeah. And you never know which, what you're gonna get, it seems like. Okay, well, let's dive into this one and just, uh, just go for it because I don't know. Cheers. Oh. Okay. So <laughs> that's um, okay. That's surprising. Wow. Hot damn. Okay, that's fucking delicious. So that milk sugar and the vanilla in there mm. just make it super smooth, a little bit sweet. There is a hint of tartness that I'm getting, but it's, it's more, vague. it's vague and it's more on like the back end. I think they use Madagascar vanilla in this. Oh, okay. So it's Classy. fancier. Just a really pronounced vanilla blueberry kind of kind of flavor. Um, again, that tartness, it, it pokes through a little bit, but it's like on the back end, it's like in the in the back of the throat, but very vague. It's just enough to keep you coming back and drinking more, you know? Yeah. Before stuff like this, I never used to drink sours at all. I stay well away from them. 
but uh, I don't know. If they, if they can taste like this all the time, I'm in. Definitely. Now, I'm not getting any mochi, though. Well, I was going to say mochi is one of those desserts. If you've ever had it, it's just... I've never really had it, to be honest. It's uh, it's like a sweet... It's like it's almost it's like, like a gummy. gummy. Yeah. It's like a rice paste. It's gelatinous of some sort, and it's sweet, and it really doesn't have, like... It's just sweet. It doesn't really have a distinctive flavor. It's more of a distinctive texture versus a flavor. Mm. And at least the mochi I've had at, like, you can find it at, like, Trader Joe's. There's, like, ice cream in it. I've had it at Wegmans, like, once or twice. Yeah. And you were like, try this. And I was like, I don't know. And I tried it, and I was yeah. like, yeah, I don't like the texture of it. I it's mean, I, this weird yeah. gummy, I don't know, it's... Yeah, it's gelatinous yeah. and jelly-ish. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's not... It's a distinctive dessert, but it's not a flavor, I feel like. Would, you would like, nail. be obvious? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can really rep replicate that kind of a flavor. You're not going to get the texture of this dessert in a beer, of course, because it's a liquid form. But, like, again, like, if this were a mochi dessert, it would be absolutely delicious. And I... It would be absolutely delicious, and I would drink it all the time. Or eat it all the time. I'm getting, like, kind of like a toasted, like, rice crispy kind of back-end note. There, it's like a weedy kind of, like... Yeah. I don't, I don't know that I would call it ricey, but it's something, something extra in there, mm -hmm. something a little bit extra. And it's delicious. To be honest, okay, so like anything Parish or Great Notion has done that we've had, has been awesome. Always. Yeah. So just you have to expect this is going to be amazing. So we're just going to keep reviewing Great Notion stuff because it's good. All right, so that's it for this one. Beer is life and life's too short not to watch some of these videos up here. I'll leave them in the cards. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and stay crafty. Until next time, cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, does, Jap does Japanese beer does, does Japanese dessert belong in beer? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back. Does Japanese, I wanna say beer. Does Japanese dessert, does Japanese dessert. Okay.